Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to show you my shirt. Faith, family, and facial hair. If you're not familiar with them, there's a show that was on TV called Duck Dynasty. It was about the Robertson family that lives in Louisiana and they make uh, duck calls. And uh, they had a show. It was kind of like a reality show. And uh, they're Christians and I watched a little bit of it, liked the show, and so somebody bought me this shirt. So that's it. Before we get into the news, I want to thank you for coming here and for watching my videos and for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. My first story is U.S. awards Moderna $176 million to develop an mRNA vaccine for bird flu. So they haven't learned a thing. Either that or they're in cahoots with the drug companies. Only two possibilities I can think of. Just gets more ridiculous by the day, doesn't it? All right, next news story. I'm not going to read that one to you. I'll put the link in the description. UK conservatives are cratering. The party campaigned on a populist platform but abandoned promises after taking power. There's no surer way to lose your seats than to just not do what you said you were going to do. What's happening? The United Kingdom will hold elections later this year. And the ruling Conservative Party, also called Tories, is on track to have the worst election result in its 190-year history. Currently, the left-wing Labour Party leads by almost 20%. Ooh. Ooh, it's a wipeout. How quickly things change. In 2019, Tories won their largest victory in decades by embracing Prime Minister Boris Johnson's populist platform, which focused on finishing Brexit and increasing spending. Promises, promises. Johnson promised to level up Northern England, a post-industrial area like the American Rust Belt, by increasing infrastructure spending and expanding high-speed rail. Though this district normally voted for Labour, in 2019 they swung hard toward the Tories, giving them a large majority. And then they squandered their lead. And so it, it's kind of interesting to me, this, the, the UK is going the opposite way of the rest of Europe. But what it tells you, or at least what it tells me, is that people are sick and tired of politicians lying to them. And when you lie to them, they're going to take it out on you. And the third story that I have, I forgot to get the link. I'm going to have to find it. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. A Wife's Revenge from Beyond the Grave. This is an interesting story. And I'm not going to read it to you. I'm just going to put the link in the description. It's, it's a lengthy article, but basically, uh, this woman had a uh, fractious marriage, and she got cancer, beat it, and then got it a second time and lost, and died. Actually, she opted for assisted suicide, but she left behind. Uh, a bunch of materials that she posted to Dropbox about her husband's abuse. Now, whether or not he was abusive is hard to say, but uh, a, a TikToker with a large audience, over a million people, uh, took up her cause after she died and made her husband's life a living hell. He lost his job he's had death threats I mean it, it's it's amazing and all of this is uh, 
not, you know, it, it's not provable. I mean, you, you can't, you can't really confirm that what she's saying is true. And yet everyone's taking this guy's word for it, that everything that she says is true. And so the result is that she has destroyed her husband after her death, which to me is interesting. It's just interesting. So I thought you might want to read about it. Again, I'll put the link in the description. And I pray for you that God will bless and strengthen you and make your life a living heaven. I pray the same thing for every person that you love. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out.